living. That is my responsibility as a minister of commerce and trade. And my ministry is always under constant pressure from the public. I don't blame them at all because um, having got the responsibility when I was a minister of agriculture, my responsibility was to increase the production in the country. And I think I did it uh, with some degree of success. But the success story does not come as easy in the reduction of the cost of living. Because every week when you go to the supermarket, you will find products either at the same or the same price or even a little higher. And your question would be what is the minister doing or what is the ministry doing? And I wouldn't want to go into detail now about what we are doing about managing the cost of living. I'm sure that I don't want to steal the thunder from what's happening here this morning. But we are doing a number of things recognizing that many or much of our products that we consume in this country a large percentage of 80 percent are there are there about the imported in this country. And when they are faced overseas with increased costs of their imports, quite naturally those costs will be passed on to us. And we have to find um, ways to keep our cost at a good level. And I've always suggested to people at the primary and secondary stage of of um, production. Once you can increase your awareness, you can increase your sales, and you can keep your unit cost at a little level, you can help to offer your product at a And I'm hoping that out of this initiative, we will see a number of new local recipes so that we can have another book of local recipes for eggs and chicken and not the tail in the North American book, um, cookbooks, really rough to use dill and, um, and, um, and, and, and um, what the other things are called, that's not because it's for Viagos here, but um, a lot of things that we don't grow here to add to the product. I want to see those persons who took part in the activities, and they will take their recipes, Mr. Clark, and you will have a book published on this. I myself was invited to participate in the activities. As someone who likes to cook, I believe in cooking. And I get on my evenings before I can take off my clothes and I'm in the kitchen. And I get up on morning after prayers and I go in the kitchen again and do some cooking. But I I pass up on this one. Um, I never get the the um, MC uh, the promoter of this activity. The reason why I didn't participate, but I felt that I I graduated. I did not have And I wanted to give some other young, young people an opportunity to do some stuff. But I, I like, um, I make chicken almost every day in many different ways. And there were times when eggs was a very scarce commodity. When it was a boy growing up, um, 10 of us, and I used to be the person in the house looking after the stocks. So I knew when every fowl had an egg in it. So I would prepare the scraps, bring on the ground, caps before, and then you know what just know what done, but you have a very called feeling the fall. And you look at the egg there and you watch that fall. And from the time that fall will cackle, you got that egg and you go on with it, um, and you cook it, especially in the kitchen. And in my day, with so many children in the house, you cut the hard boy that egg and you cut it in six. And six boys will have egg. You know, they the fellas have two eggs themselves each. Of course, when October and November it came, you couldn't do that in the fall because you couldn't do that in the egg because you had to store up those eggs to make it here for Christmas. You know, they had nobody else turn up the eggs to get paid to make egg and cake for Christmas because we have now forgotten to train our young girls in particular. And our young boys in the art of living. No, I remember one customer from which who was going for a spice. And it was difficult. I was trying weeks to reach her. And trying to reach her at all. I was even I was last week, I was in London, we just trying to reach her from London. And couldn't reach her. And I was determined I must find her regardless of what we have. And so I said today is her day. 
I said, well, we're looking for a well machine barber, it's like a fire. And I went on my search of her district. Nobody know her, but an old lady, all the old people. An <laughs> old lady in the district said, yeah, I know her. Go slow and turn that road and turn right. So you can see a bridge, you turn right left, and not on that building. <laughs> you follow her direction and only to find the men of this sitting in her gallery. And I was strange that she was sitting in the gallery. Say, oh yeah, you you look me. And she said, Oh, I had a strange feeling. She said, oh, I said, why well, she said, because there was a flight, a big flight. I remember that she said there was a big flight that I said stand by so she just started to look for her. She was wearing that flight, but the thought came to her, this flight standing here by strange. You bring money for me? <laughs> she said this this flight telling her that she got bring money. And no sooner to her there, tell her you are the Winner of the first prize in our competition. And she said, Wow! And she was excited, but the flight didn't fly away. <laughs> and then it came out afterwards and said, You see what time you know? <laughs> we, are, we are currently in the planning stage, even though the program is going on. We are currently in the planning stage looking forward and to give you a little heads up of some of the things that will be coming shortly and going in the year. You, we have just created a special mascot. And you should see it, you can hear more about AC. You know, and you know, your cousin here, with, you know, cousin here, and you hear more AC, no, she's coming. This program basically will be working again with you. That will be at Star Chick. And we're we'll looking forward to it. For all the customers who are buying our products. And one day, you never know, keep buying the product because one day, while you are in the supermarket buying that product, you can be a winner. But if a CCU with the product, he's going to give you a gift. <laughs> and you don't know what the magnitude of the gift will be. So we, we find ways of me to encourage you and to give back to you.